Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Homesteader server. I am Bud Sharp. And we are back at it. Sorry about the break there, folks. I had some uh, some stuff happen in my life that, you know, just have to deal with. So I wasn't able to get an episode up last week, but we're back at it. And we're back in the tree farm here. Uh, and it's working. We got our trees growing here. And we're just going to harvest them all here because we need to clear out the space to finish up exterior, the enclosing building of this. So that's what we're going to do today. Check out the trees here. Yeah! Everything seems to grow just fine except for spruce. And I'm not sure why that is. It, it, maybe it needs a little bit more space, so I may switch spruce and the oak around because there's a little bit of extra room around the perimeter here. I might have to do that. And uh, got a little growing pad for the dark oak. Uh, I may leave a, uh, thanks, doing the work. I may leave a doorway back here to get to it. I haven't really found a good way to integrate it into the building and into the collection system, so... Uh, at least it's there, so... Anyway, we've got that going. Um, I'm gonna chop down the rest of these trees here. Uh, and we're gonna work on getting this building set up here. We're gonna need... what are we gonna need? We're gonna need a bunch of spruce wood. Uh, and some oak logs. Oak logs. I don't think we have any spruce wood, but we've got, since we have a tree farm, plenty of wood right here. Uh, so yeah. Let me go ahead and start chopping the rest of these trees down, get everything cleaned out. Uh, including saplings. Whoa. Leg spike. And, uh, I'll come back at you with some supplies all organized, and we will start to build it. Alright, all the trees are out. Saplings removed. I got our minecart trapped here because... We don't want to listen to him running the whole time here. So, uh, time to work on this perimeter. The sign needs to go. Uh, and I think we'll start in the corners here. Now, if I remember right, these are each three tall. Two, three, and then, let's see. One on top there. Yep, that looks right. And then we're going to do sort of a, uh, well, let's do this side first. I think these are each too tall. Sort of a wavy pattern. So we're gonna go down there, and then we're gonna go down there. And then, I think actually these are three tall. And I have logs in here, you'll see why in a minute. And then down, yeah, that's right. So we got those, and then we've got these up three. Boy, my frames are not doing me any service today. Three, one, two, three. Oh, I may have to reboot this server because I think it might have been running a bit too long here. All right, so let's get these finished up here. And boom and boom and boom. Hey, let's <laughs> be placed. There we go. Uh, and there, and then that's at the bottom, and that's there. And that is there, and one, and two. And we're just repeating this pattern all the way around. Oops, not there though. And this is gonna be the base of our building. Uh, and above it, we're gonna do a whole bunch of glass, because this is supposed to be like a, a greenhouse for trees. Got that, and then did I get enough? No, I need to put one more there. There we go, and I should have enough on me to finish this up. So one, two, and one. Thanks for saving the world. And there, and that down, and yep. Almost there. Two, three, one, two, three. There. Oop, I'm gonna run out of planks here, I think. Dang it. That's alright. We have plenty here. Uh, one, two, one, that's right, that looks right, okay. And now we get to the front. Now the front's a little different because that's where our doorway is, so. Uh, let me see if I have any more spruce. I'm not gonna have it there, I'm gonna have it right here in the storage chest. So we've got some spruce, let's just grab half of those there. And turn half of them into planks, there we go. Um, yes, so this is still going to kind of graduate down, 
and that's going to go there. But now these are going to go up again, I believe. Yes. So, hey, get up there. There, there. Two. And this is going to form our entrance. Um, I have to look at my schematic again here to figure out how I built this doorway. Uh, but you get the idea. Actually, over here, I'm going to do, I want to do, because this is sort of a, a wall a lot of people might see a lot if they're passing through here, because um, we're going to do some building over here. I was just doing some scouting. We might do like a, a, a port of some sort, but uh, I want one of these to be one taller, and you'll see why in a bit. So, okay. So we've got that going here. We've got our, our uh, main perimeter walls up here. Let me uh, let me look at my uh, my screen cap. Get out of here. Uh, of the entryway. We'll get that built up, and then we'll start putting in some glass. So that's what I had for the intro for the opening here. Sort of arches around. We got a little extra detail going in here. Yeah, looks nice. All right. So uh, next, we're gonna throw in uh, some dark oak fences here, uh, right in our entryway, just like so. And what's fun about these is mobs don't see them as a block that can go through. So since we're working on the angle, we've got an entrance here that doesn't have a door that we have to open, but is mob proof. And I think that's pretty cool. I like that. So there's our entrance. Awesome. And we're also going to put these over here in these windows. So let's get those laid in. Oh boy, look at the frames. Hey, get out of here, dirt. Whoa. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I may have to start the server over. Uh, but let's throw these in real quick. Oh, grew grass. How nice. There we go. All right, so all the windows are in. Awesome. So, uh, I put these oak logs here in the walls for a reason. Because I'm going to do a little bit of an artistic detailing here in the glass. We're not just going to do straight one color. Uh, I want to use green, uh, lime green, yeah, lime stained glass to sort of do some some tree designs here. Give me that dirt. And uh, so we're going to lay those out right now. I'm going to do at least one here on camera. Let's see here. All right, so let's get up high here. Uh, I'm going to do one. This is going to be a big one and a small one. So let's do that. Uh, let's do across here like that. Uh, all right. Let's go a little higher here. Uh, let's see. Definitely want to bring this up, I think, to here. Yeah, we'll do that. And then let's just fill this in so we don't fall on our butts. Uh, here we go. And we'll bring this all the way across here. I do have my Soak Touch pickaxe on me just in case I mess this up. Uh, where's our center? Our center is right here. So let's maybe do across here and then maybe one on top. Let's see how that looks. Ugh. Come on, one on top, there we go. All right, let's jump down. Where's our safe? That's not it. <laughs> Good job. Let's get our scaffolding out of the way here. And you step back. I think we can fatten it up. It's looking a little good, but I think we need to bring it down here and here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. Awesome. So we've got that going. Uh, and this one is going to be a smaller one, but I need a little bit more lime uh, glass here. So let's make some of that up real quick here. I really wish they would change the wool recipes to do the same way as the glass and the, uh, stained clay, but maybe in the next release, because otherwise right now it's super, super inefficient. It takes one dye for one colored wool and that's kind of ridiculous. All right. So let's get this here. I'm just going to do a little one like this and let's get down and see how that looks. Yeah, that's cute. The rest of these are going to get filled in with uh, with white glass. Stand back here. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's going to look really, really cool when the rest of our glass is in. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to boot this server <laughs> because these frame rates are a little nuts. Uh, I need to do trees around the rest of the sides here. Um, I may move, I may put a back door on here too and put the, uh, the dark oak out back here. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't really decided how to integrate that in yet. So uh, let me get the rest of those glass trees in and uh, I'll come back with you in a second and we will work on the rest of this building. And we're back. Uh, I rebooted the server. That seems to have helped. Although now that I'm recording, maybe not. Anyway, we're going to press on here. So I've got our the rest of our trees, our glass trees input. Got a couple of matched ones there. Did a couple of different sizes over here. That one, and then sort of a short squat one. And then back here, I think, is just the same as the front. Yeah, I did that because I'm not sure if I'm going to do a mirror of that and put a doorway back here yet. So, uh, yeah, figured I'd just do it the same. All right, so now we need to get the rest of this white glass in here. And we're going to go ahead and fill this in. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fill this in for now. And I have a couple stacks of this on me. I'm honestly not sure if it's going to be enough. So we may have to uh, get some more glass here. And this is going to go up. Uh, we need to go up a certain height. And I forget what it is. So we're going to go here and here. And then these are going to go two levels up. Like that. So we're going to fill everything up to this level here. It looks like we're right about where we need to be there. So that's good. There. Awesome. So let's get this all filled in. And ugh, I'm gonna, these feather falling boots are gonna break <laughs> before we're done. Where are we at on those? Yeek. Yeah, we need to repair those there. All right, so. One, two, one, two, uh, one, two. Awesome. Okay. Keep working our way around. Oops, that's one down. So we'll get this, uh, this level in. And then we'll take a look at it. All right, that's one stack gone. Definitely going to have to make more. Uh, drop. What am I resting on? What? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the help, whatever that was. Here we go. Almost done. Ah, ow. Oof. Eating up that glass. That's even. That's even. 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 Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, we need to put it down here, right? Yes. Even. Good. Almost done with the perimeter here. Whoop. There we go. Uh, this needs to be one level higher, and then we, oh, oof, we're not going to have enough. We're not going to have enough even for this layer. Dang it. That's all right. We'll put down what we have and make more. And I went, I went collecting sand out in the desert. I got many, many stacks, threw them in the smelter unit. It still isn't enough. Dang it. That's all right. I knew this was going to take a lot of glass, but... Obviously, I underestimated. Uh, uh, oh, you're higher than I thought you were going to be. Huh. Oh, maybe we do have enough, at least for this phase. Ah, uh, one left. So you're extra tall, which is fine, because I think these, uh, these side walls actually get to go up one level higher. Whoop. All right, well, I was going to jump down and take a look, and that's about the best way you can do it, I suppose. Just let gravity take hold and pray. Ah, there's a whole bunch there I missed. Anyway, um... Let's go to the back wall here that's filled in so you can get the final impression of how this looks with all the glass in place. Yeah. yeah it looks pretty cool. I missed some down there, too. Good job, me. All right. Well, I need to make up more white glass. Let me do that. And we'll come back and uh, start working on the roof part. Let's do that. Ooh, I got four. Okay, so I found some more uh, some more glass that I had smelted up over there in the old smeltery. Uh, so I got this this level 
one level higher. And then at the corners here, it sort of bevels back one block. And it can it's going to do that two more times until we get to the roof level, which is where these are. So uh, let's see. These are one, two, three, four, five across. So I'm not sure if I have enough to do all this, but I know these go back five like that. And then one, two, three, four, five. I need to do that in all of the corners here. So I went ahead and put my dirt in. Yeah, of course, I did this opposite. So now here, two, whoop. And there. Uh, looks like I'm going to have probably just enough to do the rest of the corners here. And then I'm going to have to go, actually go get more sand to make more glass. Unbelievable. So you can see how those are connecting up to the green ones. Uh, wait, how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five. Oof. Lost track there for a second. So I was talking to you guys. All right. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. And then these are all going to taper in as well. So you're going to end up with, I have to do a lot of this dirt scaffolding stuff. Oof. And I have a lot of dirt to clean up. So these are all going to go back like that. There isn't, yeah, yeah. And then that'll go back, uh, I believe, back to there. And you've got your, uh, got your roof level. And then we'll just fill that in with a bunch of white. So, uh, in fact, let's just do a little bit. Let's do a little bit. Give you a little idea of what we're working on here. Because I'm not going to do all of this on camera. That would be silly. Back. And let's do this one here. Fill that in. Awesome. Cool. So I need to go get more glass. We'll finish up this roof here and then we'll start working on some interior details here. We have a few more details to finish up uh, on the inside here. So <laughs> just about have this finished up here. Had to go scrounging for more sand to make more glass. Oh man, I'll be glad when we're done laying in the glass. So here we go. Almost done. Just a few to go. Oh, look at all those rabbits. Got a nice view up here. Sun's going down. Sheep moved into that house, apparently. <laughs> all right. Don't get distracted. Back to work. All right. Almost done here. Uh, da -da -da. Just a few more. Is that Sneed's one? Oh, come on. We can do this. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have enough glass this time, too. Ah, shoot. That's all right. We'll sacrifice it. There we go. Roof is done. We have our green blocks where our trees grow. I think, yeah, looks like everything is filled in. And we still have 15 glass left. How nice. Sweet. Well, I'm going to get down here. I'm going to get myself organized. I'm going to sleep away the night. And we're going to finish up the interior details. In just a second. All right, time to do the interior here. I did uh, glassed off this area, except for this one spot here. This is where the uh, the pickup cart drops off here. I just wanted to close that off so that nobody messes with the, uh, with the uh, mechanism there. So now we need to get our lighting set up here. These slabs don't make it easy to get around, do they? Uh, so we're going to use... That's set to blue. Good. We're going to use these redstone lamps with some... Uh, what do you call it? Daylight sensors set to moonlight sensors. So they turn on at night. Um, these might be causing some lag around town. So I may have to change that in the future, but for now we're going to go with it and we're going to build these little lighting fixtures in all of the corners, spruce stairs like that and like that. So we've got these little things here, glass above it. So that will activate just fine there. Awesome. So let's do that in the other corners here. I think I can do it from the ground, I hope. So that there, right click to change it, lamp, uh, stair, 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 and stair. Awesome. Uh, yep, back here. Sensor, change it to night, lamp, stair, stair. 
stair, stair. Yeah, looking good, looking good. And one more over here. Now we're gonna do something else over here in this corner too. Um, and I'll show you that in a second here. Oh, shoot. Right click. Okay, good, got it. There, 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 and there. Awesome, okay. So, in our role play of the game, where we imagine this as a functioning business, um, there might be employees who work here, and they're, you know, putting in their shift, planting trees, chopping down trees, planting more trees. Uh, but you know what? Regulations say that you need to have a break time on occasion. So, we're going to put a little break room over here in the corner. Uh, I think this is how we do it. Um... Yes, one more. So we're going to build up this little platform here. This is going to be our break room. Uh, let's see, what else are we need to do here? We're going to... Uh, let's clear out some space here. I don't think I need all these redstone lamps in here anymore. Uh, let's get our quartz down here. I think I don't need those anymore. I need these. I need these. It's going to be fun. All right. So we're going to put in a little area where you can have your lunch. Uh, and I'm going to use another brick fence here. And I'm using that because it doesn't join up with that. So it's going to keep it nice and discreet. I'm going to put in some chairs here. Uh, and then we're going to have our carpet on top here for a nice break room table. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, let's see. What else do we need? We need some counter space here to uh, prepare your delicious meals. So let's do counter space there and there. And I think think shoot i need one more quartz stair don't i i do we'll get that in a second here oh no i don't i know why i don't because something else goes there it's gonna be awesome all right so that's there that's there this goes here and i'm gonna do put this back this way so it goes in like that awesome okay so we got a little counter space here um you probably need a sink to wash up your dishes stuff like that um Looking good. All right. So, what do we have here? We have a furnace. Hmm. I want to cook our food, so we'll put a little furnace down, but that just well, looks kind of lame. Let's do something else. We can dress that up. We can make that look like, uh, what do most break rooms have? If you have a job, you have a break. Probably bring your lunch to, uh, to work with you. Uh, did I bring it? I did. There. There. Uh, how do you usually cook it up? I don't know about you, but I usually cook mine up in a microwave oven. So that's what we're building right now. Make ourselves a little microwave oven here. This is this is some of the stuff I love the most. It's trying to find ways to add little details to things to make them look a little bit more fun. So we'll put a little uh, weighted pressure plate up there. Uh, we're going to put a trap door over here. There we go. And here's the fun part. This actually serves two purposes. Check this out. So these need to be powered in order to be up. So we're going to put a lever over here. We're going to flick it down. And this serves two purposes. Number one, brings this up flush with this, gives our microwave a little bit more shape. And number two, it serves as the faucet for the sink. Bam. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, and let's do a item frame on the front here. And let's do a door on there. So now we have our little microwave oven. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty sweet. And it's still usable, too. You can drop your food in there and cook it up. You're good to go. Microwave oven. Uh, you know what? Actually, do I have a glass pane? A white glass. I think I want to use white glass if I have it. If not, I'll swap it out later. Uh, I don't have one on me. That's okay. I'll switch it later on. Uh, this is fine for now. Uh, usually they have, you know, a sign here that says, uh, please cover... Food in microwave. Except I spelled that with a capital L. Let's fix that, please. Cover food in microwave. Done. Perfect. All right. Uh, now, break room also has... Oh, shoot. I didn't bring an iron block with me. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We don't need it. Uh, a, uh, a refrigerator where you keep your food. Imagine this is an iron block. I'll go grab one later. I have a bunch. I just didn't bring it with me. Imagine that is a iron block. And we're going to put a dispenser on top of there. Uh, have one more of these weighted pressure plates which will drop on top of there. 
Uh, let's see. I need a couple more items here. Do, 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 do. I need that, and I need that. Oops, getting dark. That's all right. We're inside our mob-proof door here. We're good to go. Uh, we're going to put a button on here. That is going to activate it. Now, let's see. I need this to open. Huh? If I put it this way, does it open the way I need it to? I think it does. Yes. Perfect. Look at that. Awesome. Get inside a refrigerator. Grab for lunch. You can just get in that way, too, if you want. But if you happen to have food in there, let's grab some apples here. Fresh from the, uh, from the farm. And you're just going to go... Yep, got my apple for dinner, lunch, whatever. I could cook it up if I want to. Not going to, but there we go. So there's our refrigerator. There's our little break space. Uh, I think we can dress this up a little bit more. Um, now I remember. Okay, so this one was a little different. I wanted a little bit more surface area to decorate. So let's take these two out. Uh, and I think we have, we do have enough signs, it looks like. So we've got, please cover food in microwave. We've got, uh, fridge, clean out, Mondays, all these little things you see in a break room at uh, 7 p.m. Sure, the cleaning crew comes in and they clean out the fridge. So there you go. Uh, let's label this up. This is the employee. Boy, I just like to have that second letter capitalized, don't you? Don't I? Employee. Uh, break room, done, and let's do, uh, information, again, <laughs> heavy on the shift key, I guess, information, uh, board, done, and, uh, let's put up our information board, hey, I hear you. we're not hiring right now, we're, we're gearing up, but maybe, uh, you can apply later on, so, bam. Got ourselves a little, uh, I don't know, some OSHA information. Maybe there's a, a potluck coming up and you're going to sign up and bring a dish. But there's our information board. And there is our finished break room. Uh, other than the iron block, which, eh, maybe I'll forget about it. Who knows? It's kind of expensive to have an iron block there. I do have some uh, clean stone over there. I may go grab that. But uh, there we go. Finished break room. Looking good. I think that is it for our interior details. It's looking good. Looking really, really good. Um, we have one last thing to do other than obviously planting up all the trees again. Um, actually, you know what? We're not done. I, th I wanted to put up a couple of axes here. And I'll make those up. Do I have enough on me? I don't have enough iron on me to do it. I could do one, but... But I wanted to put up some axes here and some instructions uh, posted up there. Uh, and I'll do that off camera. But just in case anyone comes in here, they don't have an axe, they can just get over here. They can uh, punch the sign, grab an axe, go to town, start harvesting. So uh, let me get that put in. Let me uh, get my signage up and uh, we'll come back. We'll work on the last bit of decoration we need uh, for the tree farm and uh, probably wrap up the episode. Okay, so we got our axe in. We have our please return axe when finished. You can just punch that. <laughs> Apparently leave mean, mean Gene Bokerlin behind. Let's not do that. I like how these, when you put them back, they maintain their uh, rotation position. That's a nice little touch. This is back up and running, as you can hear. Got the trees planted again. Uh, looks like we got some oaks that have grown. Boy, they grow so easily compared to everything else. Huh. Uh, anyway, our last bit of detail here is we need to put up some signage. We need to uh, let people know we've got a brand new business in town. Uh, and for that, we're using our old friend, the... Uh, Banner sign. The banner alphabet. That's what it is. Uh, if you just do a Google search for that, you can probably... Is this going to go? No, it's going to go opposite what I want. Uh, you can probably find... Uh, there's an imager post out there that uh, I've been following um, to kind of get an idea how to make these. And uh, we're going to use their lime green banners with brown lettering. So let's get this down, and then I guess the rest will just pop in here wherever. Do I have enough space? Looks like we do. Okay. And I've put up some uh, some dirt scaffolding all the way around here. Oh, it's gonna be night. That's fine. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for night. I'm gonna uh, sleep away the night, and then uh, we're gonna put our signs up in the light of day. Okay, daytime's here. Let's get up here on our scaffolding. Uh, and our dimensions on this building worked out perfectly for what I'm calling this. So um, I'm. 
it, it's a tree farm that's that's sort of man-made. We're we're growing them under artificial uh, circumstances. So I decided I'm going to call this the Cultivated Lumber Company. So we've got our C U L T I V. I wish we could do a better V, but that'll do just fine. A T E and D. And look how perfect that fits. Ten spaces, ten letters. Awesome. Uh, and then let's go to the other side here. Let's get our letters arranged here. Uh, L U M B E R C O N. Period. Perfect. So I'm I'm putting these on a face here so that they face that way into the heart of town so then people can see from a distance what's coming up here. So we've got that and then let's do uh, L, not period. Dang it, dang it. Give it back, all right. Uh, L, U, M, B, B is a tricky letter to make. You have to actually start with the opposite color. Like normally you'd start with a lime green banner and then just do a bunch of uh, brown wiggly woo to make that work. Uh, you actually have to start with the brown banner on this one. Uh, and because you only have so many steps that you can do. So uh, E, R, and then we're going to leave a space. C, O, and period. And that is our sign. Let's take our dirt down here. Let's get all of this down here. And then we'll take a look from afar and see how how this looks. I think it's going to look pretty good. Uh, and I'm happy that uh, banners don't seem to cause the same amount of lag as uh, item frames do. I could be wrong about that, but in my experience, I'm not really getting any lag that I'm noticing, so that's good. Let's get up here. So I'm happy for that, because I really do like using them. I, I, I mean, there's not a lot of ways you can do signage that's readable from a distance. Uh, the fact that you can make letters out of these things is pretty fantastic. As long as it uh, works in your uh, your building shape. So let's get this almost done. Whoa! <laughs> I guess we'll finish it down here. How are those moon boots doing? Yeah, they're gonna need to get prepared. All right. All done. Let's take a run back here and jump up here on top of Zero's Bakery and Butchery quite the combination business and let's have a look huh there we go cultivated lumber company in fact let's get up just a little bit higher so we can get a better look awesome there it is cultivated lumber company another sharp industries business so hey guys i hope you liked this episode if you did make sure you leave a like it really helps out a lot uh, and if you loved it make sure you subscribe that way you'll get a little a little notice in your sub, sub box when there's a new video. Uh, sorry about missing last week. Like I said, maybe I didn't say. I don't know. Stuff happened. Uh, I had to deal with it. But uh, hopefully we're back on schedule again. So anyway, that's all the time I have for today. So until next time, we'll check you later. Bye-bye.